Hello, I'm Antonio Neves, and this is 3 Minute Ad Age, your daily video news show. Wikipedia, which gets about 60 million unique visitors a month, is one of the world's 10 most popular websites. But despite its massive traffic, it remains a nonprofit that refuses to take advertising. Instead, it funds its staff and large scale technical operations with annual online fund drives. The most recently completed drive took in more than $6 million. Most of that came from tens of thousands of individuals who donated between $50 to $100 each. Founder Jimmy Wales explains. Before we started the, the annual giving campaign, we were a little concerned, you know, because of all the economic bad news and are people going to give or not going to give. Um, but we, well, we just put up uh, banners on the site and uh, uh, it was going pretty well, but then we put up a, a personal appeal for me and then donations went up by a factor of 10, which was really a great learning for us that sort of a generic appeal to people about Wikipedia was not as effective as a person actually saying, um, here's what we're doing and, and we want your help. It's one thing for people to donate money to a charity, um, which is Wikipedia, and they do it not just because they're paying for the content they've used, although that's in part a motivation, this feeling of, wow, these people really, they made this for me and they gave it to me for free and I find it very useful so I would support it. Um, so I think there's something to that model. Um, and then, but I think for a lot of people, they're really more uh, interested in the idea of free knowledge and, and sharing knowledge and that it is a charity. Um, I'm very skeptical of paid content. Uh, I, I think it's never going to be a really big thing. Uh, I don't think it'll ever go away completely. Um, but if people are imagining that the broad general public is going to pay $6 to read the equivalent of one magazine's worth of content online, they're just kidding themselves. That's never going to happen. Highly specialized content, uh, obviously people will pay for. Uh, if it has a very strong business purpose and you can't get it elsewhere, people may pay for it. Uh, but beyond that, for entertainment type content, that just makes no sense. One of the things that we want to do is um, leverage the brand um, in other areas in ways that can bring in revenue. So we're looking at deals in the mobile space, for example. So if a mobile carrier wants to sell more phones by saying, um, you know, you can, we have easy access to Wikipedia on our phones and it's nicely formatted for our phones, um, and they use that to sell more phones because uh, people say, oh, cool, Wikipedia on the phone, uh, then they can give us a portion of the proceeds. And that's it for this three-minute ad age. Thanks so much for being with us. I'm Antonio Neves at Advertising Age in New York.